This hat looked much better and deeper than what it does on me. Hello guys, welcome back to the DIY Talk Show. And if you're new, hello, welcome to the DIY Talk Show. This is a show where I just narrate the videos while being on camera to make it a little bit more fun because I'm super fun. That's what my mama says. Moving on. You know, uh, that day it's approaching that is terrifying and every single people hate it in the world because it reminds us that we're alone. Lonely. Coupleless. Yeah, I'm talking about Valentine's Day. <laughs> My favorite holiday. But I'm actually not one of those people who hate the day because I am lonely and single, but I am not sad about it. I'm actually really happy and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are as well. As some of you may know, I am Mexican and I am from Mexico. So in Spanish, or at least where I live, Valentine's Day is not called Valentine's Day, it's called Dia de la Morena Misot. We should translate back to English to Day of the Friendship and Love. So, I mean, even if you don't have a partner, you have a partner in crime. I mean, you're friends. I mean, you love your friends. So today we're going to make a card that will work for lovers and for friend lovers. That sounded weird. And I know why you may be thinking, Oh my god, a card? That is so boring. But no, 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 no. We're not going to do any regular card. But we're going to do a card inspired by the Queen of Crafts herself. Your DIY? No, Mabel. Pines. I'm an arts and crafts master. Why do you think I always have this glue gun stuck to my arm? We are going to make the card that Mabel has on her pop-up scrapbook to express when she is in love. And I'm talking about this one. Bub bump. Bub bump. Oh boy. Bub bump. Bub bump. Bub bump. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I mean, you should know if you've seen this show, and if you haven't. Yeah, I'm, I'm judging you right now. For this beautiful car, you'll need construction paper in several different colors, car stock, just make sure that one side of it is white, marking tools, I'm just using a pencil, an eraser, markers, I'm using permanent mark, but you can use washable markers or other markers that you might like, scissors, craft night, glue, I'm using hot glue gun because I couldn't find my glue, but if you have glue, you can use it. But I just actually really like using my glue gun because it's faster to glue and it dries super quickly. And finally, big googly eyes are optional. Okay, let's just jump into the DIY. Whoop. So start off by downloading the template I'm going to leave in the description to make things easier for you. Uh, you can just download them and cut them and trace them onto your construction paper. The template's going to tell you what color is which figure. So trace every piece onto the correct color. But the good thing about this template is that you can actually just personalize however you want. So if you want to change the colors, you can. I mean, I am not a craft police. But I'm just following just like Mabel did. So I'm tracing the heart onto a red piece of construction paper and I'm marking the cheeks that is marked on the template on top of it with my pencil. So this is going to create an indentation on the construction paper and I'm going to use my markers to give details to the figure. Next, cut the teeth from white construction paper and mark the details with a black marker. Now we're going to place the teeth on top of the heart's cheek and we're going to mark where they meet and then we're going to cut with our X-Acto knife a slit so that the teeth will go inside and they will hold in place. Now you can just leave them like this but I'm going to secure them with some hot glue gun or regular glue so they won't fall off. But this is just to give it more detail, a little bit of a 3D um, kind of vibe. For the eyes, you can simply assemble them from the template, cutting the bigger circle from white paper and the smaller circle from black paper and just glue them together and you can just place them on your heart. Or you can use your big googly eyes. This is going to give it a little bit of a 3D look and it's going to look super fun because when you open and close it, the eyes are going to be moving. So I think that's super cool. But if you are not into that or if you don't have big googly eyes, you can just do the other way around. Once the heart is ready, you can actually leave it aside and you can just work on the other pieces of your construction paper and just cut the other hearts. And the word ba bump. <laughs> For my car, I'm using an A4 sheet of cardstock that I actually cut myself and basically I just took A4 piece of paper and put it on top of my B cardstock and I just trace it and cut it to size but you can resize it to any size you want because I mean this is a DIY you can personalize it you can make it super big or you can make it super small and I fold it in half and then I use my imagination to decorate the cover of it and this is what it looks like I just decided to add the Mabel star and you make my heart go because when you open it's gonna say ba bum ba bum ba bum I mean. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the heart and fold it in half as well. Then we're going to make this marks on the heart going from the very tip of the heart from the bottom 
onto one of the sides of the card. I mean, it's kind of hard to explain, but you can see what I'm doing here in the video. We're going to fold them, and this is what is going to help the heart stand out once uh, the card is finished. So once you did that, we're going to align the fold of the card with the fold of the heart and make sure that the heart is showing up a little bit from the card. But don't worry, that won't be visible once the card is fold. So we're going to glue only, and I repeat, only the little tabs that we created and we're going to glue them aligning the folds of the card and the heart and once you did that you see that this card is functional you can stop right there but i'm going to add the other details for mabel's cards and i'm also going to add the words and everything to make it look super cool and then to finish off you can add whatever message you want if you don't want to add any message i mean the card itself is a message but you can add something else like personalized for the person you're giving this to but yeah i mean uh it's super super personalized and that's what i really like about cards that you have your creativity as a limitation but as you can see this is how i decided to make mine i really like how it turned out i just really wanted to recreate this card for you guys and that's it guys i hope you like this video if you like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and if you are you can follow me on all my social medias that will be listed down below if you make any of my diys you can actually tag me with the hashtag jorge i'm broken and i'm going to browse them and like them and comment comment down below any ideas you may have for future videos and that's it guys i'll see you in the next diy bye bye Ooh, this is the fastest I've recorded a video. I just had, I mean, not taking into consideration the fact that my camera was dying. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Oh, they're really dirty. Uh, I don't use my glasses when I'm recording because the sun, it's like facing my face. like, And if I put them on, you wouldn't be able to see my eyes. Mande. Ah, ok. Nos vemos al ratito, Kaylee. Con cuidado. My sister has a better social life than I do. If you are someone to stay to watch the bloopers, I love you. I love you, bro. I love you, girl. I love you, everyone. Bye-bye.